Hi guys, Canberra Run here. Welcome back to Full Magic 2022. We're up against Holstein Kiel. And I'm going to be totally honest with the, with you, this is a redo. This is not a scave scum because I lost or didn't get the result I wanted. This is, I recorded the entire game and then accidentally deleted the video file. I was clearing out some old files and accidentally went with it. For the time I'd realised, I'd accidentally wiped the recycling bin. The first result I got was a 3-3 draw where we considered a 94th minute uh, equaliser. But I promise you, I'm not just salty because I didn't get the result I want. I said I wouldn't save scum, but accidents do happen. Promise. Hand on heart was not a safe scum. I accidentally deleted the file. That being said, I am obviously going to try and get a better try to get a better result. So, I'll take the suggestions. I'm not taking the team suggestions. Um, I'm not going to show, but I kind of want longer passes. So, we'll go to the team selection page. We're going to probably try and get it into the box instead. And then keep the standard defensive line. Stay on our feet. So it's not going to help. So the team we're going to go with is Pavlenka, Toprak, Handel, Agu, Friedel, Gruev, Neil, Schmidt, Weiser, Fulkrug, and al uh, I do have Ducks ready, but he's not quite fit. And Gadiui did score a brace in the last game, so it would be unfair to keep him out now. I'm going to submit the team. Should be all right. Um, so yeah, we'll go to the thing. Yep. Carry on the last one percent of the match. We'll do well. We did really well in the last match. So. We'll be going in for another strong display. So. Kickoff. We're away, which is always a tough one. And Kiel are right below us in the table, so we do want to be able to beat them and get some distance. I, I, I like the fact that the Kiel defender, even before he was tackled, was just able to like shove the referee out of the way. That's perfectly fine and normal. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Just put one instruction in the thing. I do want us to... Oh, no, we've got time off. Oh, yeah, I think we put that on the um, tactical meter. Shoot. Oh, for God's sake, too far wide. Full Greg on the wing here. Kicks it back off to Friedel. I'll try to get someone in. Al Gadoui does not even know where he is. Um, Full Krug. Uh, no. Damn it. Oh, oh! But it's a corner. Let's see if we can get this good old whip. Okay, let's whip one in. Good tackle, to be fair. But that was a good tackle. Why is that a free kick? Um. Okay, ref. Didn't really want anything out of that. That wasn't a. That was a good tackle. Good intercept from my full crew. Now bring it out. Tidy. Don't do anything too stupid. Good pass in. Side. Pass it off to Schmitz. Making his way from his man. Vice is in the box. Is that back up to Schmidt? Puts him to Agu. Crosses it across. Fulker headed away. Back out to Friedel. Fulker. Jeez. Good goal for Fulker. That's like the fourth time he's headed the ball in. He's really trying to get those headers. Um, fantastic crossing by Kreidel. Fulker with a really, really good goal. So 
we are one goal up now. Oh, okay, fair enough for trying, but not there. That ain't it, Chief. So we've been on top for most of the game. Um, I'll do is not used to being pressing. Okay, it's fine. We can take charge of this. Let's go out and fuck them up. Might put on... Uh, might, I don't know whether I want to risk a bomb or duction this match. I'd rather wait for the game against Eisenberg. Um... I see all the wheelchair accessibility fans. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, I can't complain about that. No, I'm actually, I'm actually going to make take the risk. We're going to put on a bomb. Fuck, that's an absolute rocket. I mean, that was going out. There was no fucking reason to, like, kick that away. Time for one last attack, maybe? Nope, that's the final whistle. I'm disappointed by that. We should have done a lot better. We can't really do much because we've... Yeah. We played well. But we lost to effectively a god shot. Yeah, we should we should have won that match. It is what it is. We we lost to an absolute like screamer, basically. He scored an absolute beauty. You can't do anything. Um because unfortunately that that goal was Fuck, oh, fuck off. It wasn't that bad. Um, that goal was just, like, crisp. So there's not a lot we can really... Yeah. Hmm. I, we, we were better overall. Don't, don't, don't big them up, mate. Don't big them up. So, I'll sort out all this, uh, and I will join you in the match against Eisenberg. So, we couldn't win even on the replay, but that's the way it goes. Okay, we're against Eisenberg AUE. They're not in a good run of form right now, so we can go straight into the tactical meeting. Do it. We'll leave off the uh, that. We'll just go full attacking. We'll go balls to the wall on them. Try and take them down. So... This is the team we're going with, Zetera, because unfortunately Pablenka picked up an aggravated hip. Yeah. Uh, Jung, top rack, handle, Agu, because Jung came into my office and was angry about lack of playing time, so we'll give him a chance. To be fair, he hasn't played since the Ingolstadt game. We ended up giving away the goal which cost us the game. Gurev, Mbom, Schmidt, Weissafel, Krug, Duksch. So, I'm going to submit the team. <coughs> we're... Should be we'll probably switch that to stay on feet. Uh, yeah, we are going to try and work the ball into the box. Agu, you should be fine. Um, What? Wait a second. He's the goalkeeper. How can he play in a different position? What the fuck is this? Fuck you. No, I'm not answering any more questions. That's a stupid fucking question. Anyway, let's fucking go. And top rack just... 
Well, he won the free kick, but I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, that is hard to read. Um, that orange and blue is hard to read. I don't know why Tobrak just... He fucking just runs at the opposition. And then just goes and gets himself fucking absolutely knackered. Well, he didn't do well to intercept the pass, but his fucking vice uh, got them all anyway. Ooh, almost. Goes out for a corner. We're just going to go out there and we're going to fucking kill him. Ooh. Not far off. You want the ball on the outside, puts the cross in. Fuck. That's a fucking penalty. Tight call. That's a fucking pen. Fulcroft doesn't even get near the ball. Is a fucking thank you. No, full crook can take the penalty. That was a blatant penalty. How the fuck do you need VAR for that? Thank you. I shouldn't even mean debatable. That was a blatant penalty. Yee. <coughs> Got a corner here. Young whips it in. Vice can't get ahead to it. Comes out to Agu. Yeah, Dutch is never going to get that. Comes back out to Agu. Plays back to Young. Plays into Agu. Bomb. Oof. Not close. Oh, we've got another goal. I. I. To be. See, from the angle that was, I thought the goalkeeper had saved that, because that was not a great angle from that. I'm going to have to see... If that goes from skip to the replay, I'm going to have to, like, fucking see if I can get an angle where I can show the ball going in. That's a fucking... Where's the angle? No, no, it's not going to... That was dreadful. Um, should be okay. Might take him off at half time. We'll see what happens. Yeah. If I substitute him off, I will put on a Sully in the end. Just wanted to see out the half. Right, yeah, I think might be. I I wasn't gonna use him until like the last game in this episode, but I wanted to bring him back quickly. I don't think he's just not used to being that pressing because we are very, very, very attacking formation. We're pressing them quite heavily. I am a little bit worried about like the fitness levels of a few players in this game. Yeah, it's going nowhere near us, are they? Oh, that ain't good. Focus, guys. Almost. Ooh, he's 
because to be honest, that would have not that was closer than it looked. Yes, Handel gets his goal for the first goal of the season too. <coughs> oh fuck off, ref. No, the goal's been awarded. Would love the referee to be able to make a decision by himself. I'm just saying, fucking saying. Um, so yeah, first goal of the season for Johannes Handel. Very tight, but we've had a, we've got away with it. We're gonna miss a little bit of freedom. Young hasn't really impressed me. Ah, that was so close for Salah. Like, he could have, could have maybe just kept it down a bit, but I think he wanted the top corner and the goalkeeper denied him. Right, swing this one in. Okay. Good tackle by. Didn't call there. Although we've got a good three-one win. Really wish we wouldn't have conceded that goal, but you don't get everything you want. We were fantastic. And Fortune does it all for nil-nil. So we've caught up a little bit. The, the, the important point is that we're catching up ground on the top three. The biggest problem is that when we draw, draw games, or God forbid lose them, we're losing that ground. We're currently in fourth outside of the promotion plans. We're two points behind Paderborn. We're closing on Dusseldorf. We need to really... We play Dusseldorf soon as well in the reverse fixtures. So we really need to get that kind of... You know. Yeah. We weren't that great. But we got the win. Ah, it'll be fine. Yeah, three to, three to five days is fine. He, he got into a bad... He got tackled and a bit of shit. In case he doesn't make it, we can just put um, Agadoui, uh on the field. So the next game is against Ra Jan Regensburg. Um, so we should be all right. Oh, you guys have got to get over some of these... Um, <laughs> some of these uh, draws. I know that I know they're not happy about the, the game against Nuremberg. I'm not happy about it anyway. Um, if I can request more money in January, well, I will talk about my transfer plans after the um, after the last game. So I'll join you guys for the last game against Jan Regensburg. Okay, mine a bit of bad news. As you can see, Fulkrug unfortunately pulled a calf muscle. So he's going to be out for two to three weeks. We're not doing injections. I keep saying this. It was mildly annoying. And the other thing to note is that... Um, Our head goal, our chief goalkeeper, um, has made an offer for fee of 250k from the Middle East, which I'm not happy with. I'm going to reject this offer, so we're not we're not dealing with that. If a higher offer comes in, that's fine. His max value is apparently 500k, 850k. If I can hold out for half a million, that'd be great. Because I'm going to talk about my January plans in this, uh, at the end of this video. Okay, for now, we'll give a Sale a chance. That's unfortunate. Right, unfortunately, that's how it goes. Not all I can do. A couple of scouting updates. If we... There was a free agent somewhere here. But he's a free agent goalkeeper. I can just, yeah, Fabian Giefer. I have faith in Zetera to be a decent leader. And then I have a couple of targets in mind. Because obviously the squad is quite thin. 
I need another right. I need really. I need a backup right back. I need probably someone else to take over as a specific sided midfielder, and I could potentially need another defender. So I've got four centre backs just to cover. I have no problem spending a free on a goalkeeper if I do let decide to let Pavlenka leave. But some of it's going to have to be in loan. Uh, coming in loans. We'll get onto that later. Okay. Okay. So you've joined us at the John Stadium, Regensburg. I don't know how spiel about Pavlenka and making tactical changes and all that. And fucking, I didn't have the mic plugged in. So we've got Aldegadi Ui up front because Duke still isn't fit. And of course, we've still got Young in the team. I decided to keep him with it for now. Uh, apparently, fan opinion says he should play more often. So I'm going to listen to the fans on it. Didn't you just sign a new contract and be raring to go? So he'll probably come on at half time. Um, Asale is replacing the injured Fulker for now. But in the long term, it is most likely going to be the bit and court or dingy. Or dinky. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not sure whether it's the D is silent, the K is silent. Um, Pavlenko tried to convince to stay, but he wants to go and win titles. Um, so we're going to go out. And we're going to go fucking kill him. Apparently the weather is shit. And it's an absolute mud hole of a pitch. So this will be enjoyable. Who's going to break their foot first? I think the light's dying in my room. So... Not right. Irritating flickering. Oh, so he's got the ball. I think he might be offside and he fucking misses. Fucking hell. Oh, Jesus. First goal after eight minutes. I'll go to you. <coughs> you know, he barged into my office fucking furious at the fact that he wasn't playing despite by his own score two goals. You know what? Fair play on him. So we're one nil up. What the fuck did the ball come like that? Uh, that should be headed back across goal, really. That was not particularly the best decision making. We do have a free kick now. Alright, I hit it. So I'm not. I think we need to really work on like getting headers across the goal rather than just heading straight at the keeper. Too many players are trying to they're trying to get the headers in and it's not working out. Graf is a mile off. Thank you. Oh, into Weiser. Yes! Second goal. Mitchell Weiser. Second goal of the season. I had a really good header on by Salah. Seemed better as FC Heinheimer losing to uh, Kolsra SC. Oh, that was cheeky, that. Plays a little short pass. Showing gone. Excuse me. Good save. Oh shit, I didn't look where I threw my gum and I just landed straight in my drinking glass. One second. Oh, I came back from refreshing my drink. And to come back to find it's half time. Nice. <laughs> so we'll go to the dressing room. Wait, we just really need to get a handle on it and absolutely batter them, to be honest. Uh, I'm quite good with the team, we don't need to. Well, that's not helpful. That nobody wanted to try and tackle in Shavich. Actually, I'm going to put Dean up on Dizzy as well. Because he can actually run on the defence.
I don't understand why Algaryui can't just run with that. That's so odd. Kind of feels like the game's trying to force the draw here. There's a lot of, you know, can't get the ball out of the way. A lot of, like, yeah, like, like stuff like that. I'm trying, I'm literally trying to get the ball out of my box, and I'm just penned in completely. Feels like it is massive trying to force the draw. Nice spot by Dilch, actually. Like, I can't get the ball out of my half of the field. It's been all Jan Rosenberg since, like, the 75th minute. And that seals it, I guess. Right off, I was complaining. Oh, I didn't even get to flash off it. The 10th goal of the season, I do it. Oh no, it's it's crossed off immediately because the offside. We've still got the corner. Yeah, because it flashed off three one and then went to two one. Yeah, goal disallowed. Oh well. Still we should still see out the win, I hope. Where's the whistle? Oh, just kicks out of play mindlessly. We made that way harder than we needed to. Yeah, we were kind of crap. But... We, we won our best, but we still won the game. So. <laughs> I like this guy. Um, yeah, the ball bars we've got. We've got one over a couple of the uh, rivals. And the Carl's are winning as well. We're now three points off of first and second. We want to be in that kind of space. We need to be intruding on Paderborn and Heidenheim. So that's that is the point where we want to be. But that's fine. I feel there's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes that I'm not aware of. Um so yeah. Fuck. January. The transfer market. So we've got one more game against Hanover. So that's the first of the repeats, and then I believe it is the Christmas break they take over the Bundesliga. So. Yep, game against Hanover, and then literally nothing, because it's fucking Christmas. Transfer window opens on the second. So. I have a name on my shortlist. Lucas Rupp. From Norwich. He's not particularly interested in playing for us, but he is... Uh, sod. It would only be for a six-month loan move. But the idea being that we get in somebody for six months. I would also take Fabian Giffa. If we do sell, he'll be the free agent that will be back up to Zetera. This was my other option for bringing in a DM or central midfielder. 500 euros. 500. Um, he's non-EU as well. He's also listed as, yeah, his price is well below the market value. So, to make a quick query, and we're going to see if we can ask the agent as well. Oh. I 
competition. No, we'll leave that for the moment. We are going to do a deal. So, in fact, actually, what we'll do is we will go to the go to the short, go back to the short list. I think I need to scout him more. So we'll keep scouting him. And then we'll see what happens with that. So I may be selling Pavlenka. I'll try and get in a backup goalkeeper. I want to try and get in Lucas Rupp on loan. I'll get in and then get in a permanent transfer. And then we're going to look for a right back over January. I may do an entire episode dedicated to the January transfer window. We'll have to see how it goes. So with that in mind, I will leave it here. If you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see any more, feel free to subscribe. I've been Cam Bear Run, and thank you for watching.